everyone, a young Sayo PMS Black Queen here with a K drama review for you. And today's drama that I'm going to be reviewing is called I Order You. And you can watch this drama on Vicky. And this drama is a Vicky exclusive. And I think that means you can only watch this drama on Vicky. I don't think it means you have to be a paid subscriber. However, I am not exactly sure about that. Um, I will leave all the information in the links down below in the description box about this drama. And one of the stars of this drama, the lead actor, I'm very familiar with. And if you're watching this video and you're into K-pop, you will know who this person is also. Um, the lead actor in this drama, his name is Yuno, and he is one of the members of the K-pop group TVXQ. So if you're familiar with them then you know who he is. Very good looking guy. And again, the drama is called I Order You. And in this drama, he plays, this is going to be a recap of like episode one, by the way. And in this drama, he re, he plays um, Yo Guk Day. I love saying that name. Yo Guk Day just rolls off my tongue. So just like a song. Yo Guk Day. He plays a chef and a restaurant owner and I don't know what it is with these drama with me and these dramas about chefs and cooking and food I don't know what's going on there um but he owns this little cafe right it's a restaurant owner he's the chef and he makes like box lunches and they're similar to bento boxes if you eat Japanese food and you're familiar with a bento box you know what a bento box is they are amazing they look so beautiful that you really don't want to eat them because they're just they're packed so nicely and you know they usually consist of like sushi and rice and like some type of a meat like chicken or, or beef and like a salad and some fruit you know and other things also but they're really really good so he makes these box lunches he's like he's like a caterer so he, he kind of caters as well and this girl comes in. Her name is Pak Song Ah. Pak Song Ah. She comes in to pick up some lunches for her brother's workplace. Her brother sends her out, you know, to pick up these lunches from Flada. That's the name of the uh, restaurant, by the way. It's called Flada. It's like flour a little bit. So she's instantly has a crush on. Um, Yo Guk Day, and I may slip and, and call Yo Guk Day You Know. If I do that, you know, just bear with me. It's the same. It's the same person though. So she has goo goo eyes for Yo Guk Day, and again, he's very handsome, and so are his so are his uh, assistants. He has two assistants with him, <clears throat> and they're cute too. By the way, I don't know their names yet, but they're cute also, and so is her brother. Okay, all the guys are cute. Let's just say that all the men in this drama are cute. <laughs> all right. So she picks up the lunches. She's going goo goo gaga eyes over him and she really wants him to notice her. So what she does is she leaves her phone <clears throat> behind on the seat on purpose so that, you know, he hope with hopes that he will find it and return it to her. So as she comes there, like I said, you know, she picks up the lunches and one of his his assistants put the lunches in in the um, car for her. Like I said, she leaves her phone, and she got a free lunch. I thought that was really really nice of him to give her a free lunch. You know, so she delivers the lunches to her brother, and we also find out that Yoga Day is also a award winning chef. We find that out as well. Like I said, lunches are delivered. She goes home, takes her free lunch. She opens it up and she's like, because it's so pretty. She's like, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I can't eat it. But she, she kind of tastes a little bit of it. But she didn't eat a lot of it. She sees this box in the, in the lunch with a note in there. And she reads the note. It's like a love note. And it's someone like confessing their love to someone else. I noticed in the box too, there's like a little two little figurines of a bride and a groom. So... This lunchbox, she thinks this box is for her. She thinks that Yoga Day wrote this note and everything to her, but we all know that that's not true. And come to find out, it's not true because he finds her phone, he calls her, 
and he says, I'm coming to your house with your address. So she freaks out. So when a guy comes to your house, ladies, what happens? You know, you start frantically going into the closet, pulling out clothes and shoes and things. And she starts doing that. She gets all dressed up and she, and you know, for his arrival and he could, he comes there and he says, you know, um, yeah, that lunchbox that I gave you, that was not for you. And she's like, oh man, mm. she's a little bit sad because that lunchbox is not for her. But he gave her another one and he asked her, you know, did you open it? Did you eat anything? She said, I just opened it and read the card. That was it. But the card fell when she was, when she was reading it, it fell underneath the, um, the table. So with that being said, um, they decide, she goes with him. She goes in the car with him uh, to deliver lunch because it, the box got caught in her skirt. So he just pushes her in the car and they drive off. And they have a little conversation about, you know, the box and the card and whatnot. So when they get to the place where um, the lunch is to be delivered, it's this, it's outside, it's like a table for two. He sets the lunch there, he opens it up, and he notices that the card is gone. So he has to rewrite the card. So he asked her, what did the card say? So she told him what the card said, and as she's reading it, she's being all like, you know, lovey-dovey and whatnot. And that is how the drama ends. That's how the drama ends. I do have my notes, by the way. Make sure I didn't miss anything. That's pretty much how... <clears throat> Yeah, that's how the drama ends, is with her telling him what the card said. He's writing it, and he's kind of looking at her like, hmm, talking about me maybe? So we're going we're gonna to see what happens in episode two. By the way, this drama, I didn't say this at the beginning, but this drama is 16 episodes, and each episode is about 30 minutes long. So I'll probably you know, roll barrel through this drama pretty quickly. I'm hoping to, so I can get on to another one, all right? So if you're watching this drama, I order you. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Do all three. They're free for crying out loud. And I will talk to you guys next time. Gamsamida. Have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and please click the link to watch my latest video.